I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the Egyptian cat god Bastet, which I'm probably saying wrong. One finger at the top, put one dot. From that dot, we're going to draw a straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. We're going to come a little bit further in and we're going to draw a big straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down. Okay? Come back to the first one and watch what we do. We're going to draw slightly curved line down, slightly curved line out, slightly curved line down, slightly curved line down, and leave it floating. Come back over here on the right on the top, and we're going to draw slightly curved line down, bring it in, bring it out, bring it down, all the way, curve line over, straight line, curve line up, keep going, curve line down, and leave it floating. Come back up to the top. We're going to draw a slightly curved line in, out, down, over, and connect. We come right up to this indentation and we draw one curved line up, another curved line up, connect, bring it down to about this point, draw a curved line up, bring another curved line over and up. Come inside and we're just going to draw a row of baby circles all the way across and up connect and wherever we have an indentation from the baby circle we're going to draw a straight line all the way on the top and now do the same thing on the bottom wherever you have an indentation of the baby circles draw a straight line okay now come up here on the right and we're going to draw a big curve line up connect and we're going to draw a little curve line inside connect we come over to this section and we're going to draw a big curve line come back draw a curve line down up connect inside draw a little curve line right above we're going to draw another curve line out and up I think that's all. The rest of this is coloring. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to start with yellow. And if I had a gold crayon, I would use gold. But since I don't, I'm going to use yellow and decorate all of these jewels. Now, that's what they used to do with their real cats in Egypt, is they would decorate them and put jewels on their collars. They would put earrings on them and really make them fancy okay then I took my blue green and I started an ABAB pattern on the bottom part of my necklace all the way across now these are really the only two big parts that you're going to be coloring so it would be okay to take your time and really maybe do some more circles or fancy this up a little bit but this is your basic then I took red and I came in and I did the other section now these are my color combinations you can use whatever color combinations you like but these are the ones I used then because I wanted it all to kind of melt together I took red up here for this part and I took red up here for this part of the eye. You can change this part too. And I took my blue green for this eyeball. Okay, again, you can do all of these your own colors. Now, the main part 
of the whole entire cat is black. So using a light loop-de-loop -loop black crayon stroke, I'm going to color in the whole entire cat black. And I'm assuming this would be like onyx, which is a hard stone or obsidian. I don't know where they would get that. But anyways, this it could be just black wood. But this is all black. All the way down and all the way over. Now you don't want to do it too dark because you don't want to lose all your designs and stuff. But you do want it to be black. So bring it all the way down. Bring it all the way over. So again, all your decorations, you'll do a way better job than I am. All your decorations and your jewels, you can make those decisions on your own. But it's still basically a black cat. Hokey dokey. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Egyptian cat god all colored in. And the Egyptians thought cats were magical, so when they died, the cats, they would mummify them sometimes. Okay, bye-bye.